Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 186 of Who Civic Heroes here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and coming up in today's episode is the semi-finals of the Champions League for 2037 and yet again we are taking on Manchester United as well as that we have a new signing here at Volsinger as well so if you are looking forward to today's episode then do remember to go down below leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated apologies for the lack of an intro today but we did just have a meeting out at the house that we are getting built and have just realized that we're going to be getting the keys to it in about a week's time so just about to start frantically scrambling to get some stuff organized for that but we are about to take part in the Champions League semi-finals yet again if you missed the quarterfinals in yesterday's episode where we did take on Juventus I'll leave a link to that in the top right corner but before then a little bit of a club update first things first a little bit of an update on a competition that we have won a few times previously with the under 19s and that is the UEFA Youth League for the third time in this save we have picked that up the first time since 2034 so for the third time we are the youth champions of Europe and hopefully we can do the double in tomorrow's episode as long as we do get past Manchester United the one slight concern the last time that we did win this back in 2034 was the last time that we did lose a Champions League final so hopefully that doesn't put a curse on us for these latter stages of this year's competition but our under 19 team are the best youth team in Europe so a good start there to the serious end of European football this season also before we do preview our opposition for today's episode we've made one transfer off the back of yesterday's episode and we have signed a player called Kevin Wooters out of Ajax for £1 million compensation very very promising looking Dutch striker at 16 years old one and a half star current ability five star potential with four stars of that gold fork for only £1 million that was quite a good deal so we have signed him same last name as a player who we did sign off the next gen list as we revealed in yesterday's episode in Bob Wooters but they are completely unrelated with Bob being Belgian but yet another good young addition here to the club at Volsung and should only boost our chances of potentially winning that youth league yet again next season but we are about to take part in the semi-finals of the Champions League we've played no competitive games since that second leg of that quarterfinal against Juventus on the other side of the draw it is Barcelona versus Real Madrid so we might finally get the chance to play a Champions League final against a non-English team but before then we need to beat the team we have beaten in the last two Champions League finals and the team that beat us three seasons ago Manchester United they are currently on top of the Premier League and look pretty similar to the team that they have put out against us over the last few years in those Champions League finals and we know all about these guys hopefully we can continue a good recent record over Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's men no new injury concerns since that little injury to Pedro Lemos before the second leg of that Juventus play as well so we'll come back shortly with the team sheets first leg is from Old Trafford and see if we can get a decent result to take back to Iceland for the second leg of this Champions League semi-final against Manchester United and here are the team sheets for this first leg from Old Trafford we'll show you guys in list form of course because they've still got that player Mr 0800 playing for them to Manchester United probably the most interesting thing with their team they still play Joe Corcoran in goal against us despite the fact that on paper Ismail Adin does look like a much better goalkeeper but quite a similar team to the one that they have put out in recent Champions League finals against us and we are on the right unchanged from that second leg which we did play against Juventus yesterday and hopefully get a decent result here to take back to Iceland for the second leg. And just past the 15 minute mark we have our first highlight here of the first leg of the semi-final. We were briefly on the attack but Man United do get the ball back and Blowman starts to make his way forward tries to unleash a shot there from outside the box but thankfully that goes over the bar. Pretty even game so far. Still nil all after 20 minutes. And we go forward to just past the half hour mark for our next highlight. Man United looking to clear their lines here through Joe Corcoran. He will pump this deep. We should get this back and indeed we do through Jonathan Berger and what can he do as he starts to cut inside Lasana Dumbia plays a nice ball forward here for Adam Saki he beats Joe Corcoran and after 32 minutes it is Volsunger who take a lead here at Old Trafford in the Champions League semi-final yet again looks like we might be on course to grab a good result here away from home so far in these knockouts our away form has actually been a bit better than it has been at home but it's a good finish there from Saki 
on that ball from Dumbia just slides it past Corcoran and that makes it 1-0 Volsunga, albeit right off the back of that we are getting shown the restart, so hopefully we don't see an instant reply here, hopefully we can actually make this 2-0 and Man United do win the ball there outright, Blowman is in behind but thankfully hits the side netting from a tight angle and we are still 1-0 up with about 10 minutes left of the first half. And that is half time here in this Champions League semi-final first league. We take a 1-0 lead despite the fact that Man United actually started to get on top of us there off the back of that opening goal. But we do not mind. They so far have not put the ball in the back of the net. And Adam Saki did the job for us there with about 10 minutes to go in that first half. We are going to make one change here at half time though. Ognyan Mizkic, he can be a little bit up and down as you've seen this season. He is on a 6.3 out on left wing, so I think what we're going to do there is bring on Christopher Allegard for him, but that will be our lone substitution here at half time, and hopefully we can hold on to a lead here to take back to Iceland as we kick off the second half 1-0 up. And we've got the restart here for the second half, just off the back of me adjusting a few opposition instructions, and hopefully we can get on the front foot here immediately and potentially grab a cushion goal, which would be very valuable to get here at Old Trafford. We can try and get something going here down the left-hand side, and there is the fresh legs of Allegard. Nice little turn there, plays that back to Ramadan, does get the ball back, starts to cut inside, plays that one forward to Adam Saki. Good little shrug off there of a defender, Radenko Krolo now inside the box, puts the ball far post there for Allegard, but that header is pretty harmless, goes over the bar, and it remains 1-0 early in the second half. And we go all the way forward to the 76-minute mark for our next highlight, so we are holding on here to this 1-0 lead. We'll see, we might make a substitution soon. Lasana Dumbia has gone down to a red heart, but is on a good rating. But Man United here are on the attack, and Baron there gets beyond a defender's slide tackle. Thankfully, though, his shot does come off the post, and I think that might be a telltale sign. We do need to make that substitution. Costa will come on for Dumbia, as well as that burger down on a red heart as well. So I think we will bring on Louis Herrera for him for our last substitutions and we are still 1-0 up with 14 minutes left. And we are about to enter the last few minutes of this one. I've just started to implement a little bit of time wasting here to try and hold on to this 1-0 lead. Man United certainly the better stats in this game, but thankfully Adam Saki put the ball in the back of the net there just past the half hour mark, and that is the difference. Not a game of many highlights, but that sole goal is enough for us to yet again go back to Iceland with an advantage 1-0 as we do travel back to my arena, Man United did hit the woodwork twice, so they were a little bit unlucky, and thankfully we were efficient enough with the chances that we did have so in the end. That's a pretty good win, even though we didn't play as well as we can. We'll tell the boys that as well, but happy with that, and we'll come back shortly, update you guys on what has happened in the other semi-final before we play the second leg with that 1-0 lead. And just checking in before we do play the second leg here against Man United, do a quick update on what is happening between Barcelona and Real Madrid, they have now played both legs of their semi-final, so should we continue to hold the advantage over Man United here over this next 90 minutes, or potentially extra time and penalties if we don't do the job at home, and to be fair, we have looked a little bit shaky at home over the past few episodes, but if we do hold on to this lead, it will be a matchup with Real Madrid, they get the better there of Barcelona over two legs, a 2-0 win there in the second leg at home, off the back of a two-all draw at the new camp does mean they are through to a Champions League final. Hopefully, we will be the team that plays them and not Manchester United, but there's no new injury concerns going into this one. So we'll come back shortly yet again and go through team sheets before we try and hold on to this lead and make yet another Champions League final. And here are the team lists for the second league. Did forget to mention before the start of that prior game, Man United did play a 4-2-3-1, so you'd expect them to do the same thing here in Iceland, but we are exactly the same. No reason to change a team, which are winning on the right-hand side, though Manchester United have made a few changes, potentially most notably, they have actually dropped Joe Corker around. So for the first time in the save, I think we are going up against Ismail Adeem, which could be interesting. He looks on paper like a much better goalkeeper then Joe Corcoran, that's the most notable change though. We go into this one unchanged and hopefully can hold on to that 1-0 lead. And just shy of the 10 minute mark, we have our first highlight here of the second league. Man United start to make their way into our half through Venegas, plays the ball over the top, but Filippo Donelli is there to tidy things up and we start to spray that down our left hand side. No spoil over the top here for Adam Saki. We'll actually take that around the goalkeeper. He does a crab walk 
and that is not a good time for a crab walk and Adam Saki from a very tight angle puts that one away and that is a dream start. We are firing nice and early here at our home ground to make it 1-0 on the day, 2-0 on aggregate. So there is a cushion goal. You can see there are Dean doing his crab walk, but it just doesn't quite come off there. And Saki does beat him at the near post. Still a very good finish there by the Moroccan to give us a two-goal cushion. And only a few minutes off the back of that opening goal, we are back down the other end here for a foreign to Manchester United, who probably need to strike back soon if they do want to keep this one alive. And there's a chance Ali Ramadan misses a header and Barrios tucks that away in the top right corner. That's a little bit poor from us there at the back. And in particular, Ali Ramadan, he deals with that header. And I think this is not a goal. Robson Fernando plays the ball over the top and Ramadan just completely misjudges that. And from their simple finish, they are back in this one as it is one all on the day, 2-1 on aggregate. And only a few minutes off the back of that equaliser for Man United. We are back down our end and it's a free kick here for the San Dumbia from a dangerous position. Comes off the post, falls very kindly for Agustin Agatigare. He gets on the score sheet and we get our two goal cushion back on aggregate immediately and make it 2-1 on the day. Good free kick, just didn't quite sneak inside that top right corner, but it falls very kindly to Agatigare. He pokes it home and we are now 3-1 up. And we go forward now to the 25-minute mark. Man United there were on the attack, and they do give the ball away after we do give it back to them. So we might have another chance here to get on the front foot, but very happy so far with this second leg. Looks like we're finally firing at home, and there's a nice ball here for Adam Saki. Gets a lot of help from the inside of the upright, but was he offside? We're going to have to wait here for a check, but that could be a goal, which might put this game to bed. We'll just wait and see. And the goal has been awarded. Adam Saki picks up a double and that makes it 3-1 on the day, 4-1 on aggregate. What a start it has been here apart from that error from Ali Ramadan. Just enough help there from the woodwork to get that over the line. And we are now up by a scoreline on aggregate of four goals to one. And that is half time here in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Very, very happy with that first half. A little bit of a turnaround in terms of stats from the first leg, and we are making it count as well with that scoreline of 3-1, three goals up on aggregate as well after the first leg with only 45 minutes left. We're going to make one substitution. Basaro Gay picking up a yellow card will take no risk with the scoreline. Elaine Basicki can come on for him, and hopefully we cannot blow this just 45 minutes away from yet another Champions League final. And only a few minutes into the second half, we're going to make our second substitution. Jonathan Berger has just picked up a yellow card, similar situation to that first sub of this half. Louis Herrera will come on for him, still up by 4-1 on aggregate. And just past the hour mark, we have our first highlight here of the second half. It is a free kick to Man United, who really need a goal now to try and find a way back into this tie. But that's a poor pass, and Herrera, fresh off the bench, does get the ball back. We try and play that one out for Mizkic, and they do deal with that. Do Man United, Adeem will pump this deep and we win the header there through Redenko. Krolo plays that forward to Agatigare. Miskic now right on the edge of the box that is headed away by Torres and Robson Fernando here will try and get Man United on the front foot. Leandro now on the ball down the right hand side plays that back to Amaral fresh off the bench. Benegas back there for Fernando and we do deal with that eventually through Redenko. Krolo and might actually have a chance here. On the counter-attack, and Adam Saki could complete his hat-trick. You bet he will. Just takes that the wrong side of Aideen, who, to be fair, isn't looking that great in this game. Maybe that's why Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been starting Joe Corcoran all along, and that surely seals it now. 4-1 on the day. You'd almost think that we're a team beginning with B, the way that Man United are playing against us here, and Saki completes his hat-trick, makes it 4-1 on the day, 5-1 on aggregate. And up to the 70 minute mark, there's another highlight in this one. Man United looking to clear from deep. But at this point, hopefully, they are just playing for pride. A big turnaround needed here. And that's a little bit of a messy clearance from Griffiths. But somehow, Man United do actually keep the ball there rather fortunately. And Motta does play that back to Griffiths off the back of that rather fortunate little deflection there that they did have. But as I said, they need to get on the front foot very quickly in this one. Do Man UFC and Ballon here will try and chip Carl Volland. Nearly gets enough dip on that chip, but thankfully just goes over the bar and we are still up by 5-1. And shortly off the back of that previous highlight, we were briefly in position there, but Man United do rob the ball from Lasana Dumbi and Leandro here starts to make his way into the box. Gets beyond the slide tackle of Ali Ramadan, but that is a very good save 
from Cal Bullen and Man United here do still have possession and are still on the front foot inside the final third, just outside the box now, Benegas. Some good short passing, albeit that pass from Robertson Fernando does get blocked, and I think that's that highlight, 15 minutes left, and we are still up by a scoreline of 4-1, and Lasana Dumbia has just gone down to a red heart. Bruno Costa will come on for him with our last substitution. And right off the back of that substitution, it's a free kick here for Man United. They go near post, and Baron just puts that over the bar, so they are creating chances, just not hitting the target enough, and we are still up by 5-1 with only 10 minutes left. And we go forward now to the 87 minute mark for what might be the last highlight of this game, a corner which Elaine Basicki does just put over the bar, but very late into this one now. Very, very good performance at home, certainly the best we've played at home in these knockouts, and that will back up that 1-0 win away at Old Trafford. And in the end, it's going to be our most comprehensive win so far of the Champions League knockouts, and it comes against one of the competition favourites in Manchester United. We pick up a 4-1 win on the day, largely thanks to a hat-trick from Adam Saki and go through 5-1 on aggregate. That is one heck of a result against the team who have pushed us pretty close in previous Champions League finals. So very happy with how that meant. And that does mean that in tomorrow's episode, it is going to be Volsinger versus Real Madrid in the 2037 Champions League final. And back in the inbox off the back of those games against Manchester United, certainly the most comprehensive wins that we have had against them so far. In this save, and we make our fifth straight Champions League final and do get a chance to win it for the third straight season. And this time, it is not going to be against a team from Manchester. Instead, it is going to be from Real Madrid, currently top of La Liga. And a Real Madrid team who, in fact, are already champions of La Liga as well, so they can rest some players going into that Champions League final, which will make them quite dangerous. Very, very good club. We did beat them last time we met them in the semi final, I believe it was of the Champions League a few seasons ago. I think that was in the lead up to one of the years where we did actually win the Champions League. These days it is Abel Falella in charge of Real Madrid, no longer Jurgen Klopp, but still a very strong team, a pretty much a who's who of players in game there, apart from maybe a few wingbacks who do look like some new gens here in the save universe, but that is a very strong looking Real Madrid team there who are going to be looking for their 15th Champions League title when we look for our third in tomorrow's episode. And of course, before we play that final in tomorrow's episode, we will also do our end of European season roundup as well for the season, which is probably going to be the last one here on the channel before things do get a little bit jumpy in terms of video uploads, of course, with that news that we are going to get the keys for our new house around about next week. By the sounds of it, so that might mean that things do just pause a little bit here on the channel while we do move out to that new place and get stuff like internet sorted out, which I am probably going to do right off the back of editing today's video. But if you enjoyed that one, getting past Man United in very, very comfortable fashion, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel, also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. And until tomorrow for the 2037 Champions League final, as we play Real Madrid to try and make it three in a row. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.